Hey everybody, welcome back. This is iteration one in part three of module one. Write a function called get index of. Given a character and a string, get index of returns the first position of the given character in the string. Strings are zero indexed, meaning the first character in the string is at position zero. When a string contains more than one occurrence of a character, it should return the ind index of the first instance, or first occurrence. Uh, if the character does not exist in the string, it should return negative one. Don't use index of. So there's an index of which we could just say like um, string dot index of char and that's going to work but not for this problem because it's going to check to make sure you didn't do that. So let's talk about the pseudocode for this and we're also going to talk about the first time where a condition is described by an iteration. So I'll explain what that means in a moment. So iterate over the string if current char or we'll say character is equal to char we'll say input char return current index. Now, what I mean to say by a conditional imposed or introduced by an iteration is here's our iteration, it's going over the string, it's, if it finds the current character it's going to return that current index, or if it, if it finds the character that we're looking for it's going to return that index. So what happens if the iteration ends? If the iteration ends, we know that we have not found the character we're looking for, and so we should return negative one. Now the problem you're gonna run into is a lot of times people will want to say else return negative one. Now the problem here is that they get addicted to conditionals and think that every time you need an if, you need an else, but we really wanna make sure that we're doing our thinking outside of our code. Because when we do, we'd understand that uh, there is no else to this. The else only happens in the event that the iteration has stopped. If we've looked over the entire string and we never found the input character, then we have a condition that describes not having found the character we're looking for. So let's code it out. i is equal to zero, i is less than str.length, and we can use a for loop to iterate very cleanly over a string. If the current character, which is going to be string at i, is equal to the input character, which is char, and we're going to return uh, i because we're looking for the index. If we get to the end of this and we haven't returned anything, then we know that we've never found our character and that the value that we need to return from this function is negative one. So run the tests and we're in good shape. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.